What's up guys? Justin with 904 Lawn Pros. Sorry, I know it's been a long time. Um, we've been busting our butts and uh, I actually did make two videos, but um, when I went to go download them and edit them, the files were corrupted. So sorry, um, but we're out here on an overgrowth job. We're going to talk about that real quick, but I want to show you something, uh, something new to the fleet. It's not new, but it's new to me. Hang tight. Okay, so you guys know that I've been wanting a bigger trailer so I can fit both my mowers on at the same time. Uh, just as a refresher, if you're new to the channel, I've got a 36 inch Hustler Raptor, that's what I started with. And I also have a 52 inch Toro Grandstand. Um, love that mower, it's a beast. So, um, got a deal, I was gonna wait till next season to get a new trailer, but I had a deal I couldn't pass up on a uh, new to me trailer. Let me turn the camera around real quick. All right, so she's a little beat up, a little ugly, but she's kicking ass. And as much as I want to keep this, it used to say uh, so-and-so's lawn service kicking grass. And I don't know if you can tell, but the GR had peeled off. Um, get in here close real quick. You can see the GR is missing. I like the fact that it says kicking ass. Um, however, I do cut two churches, and I can see that... Uh, you know, somebody will start complaining about that. But it's a 6x12. Fit both my mowers in there. Unfortunately, um, the Toro's in the shop today. Um, it's got a leaky wheel motor. Let me turn the camera back around. So the Toro's in the shop today, or for a couple couple of days now. And um, it's got a leaky wheel motor. But uh, I'm going to show you this property. So I'm going to put the donkey, the Hustler on this property, this overgrowth job. And we're gonna talk about pricing overgrowth. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and walk you guys through this property and give you some tips if you're, if you're new to overgrowth. So hang tight. Okay, so somebody, not the city, cause I already checked. Somebody came out and knocked some of this grass down, probably a pissed off neighbor. I mean, I don't blame them. But there's all this over here that we gotta clean up. Gotta shape these hedges up front. You can see I didn't do any weed eating, whoever cut the grass, that's fine. They did part of my job for me. Let me show you the side of the house over here. And this stump will show you how tall the grass was. It's a good nine inches tall. You gotta clean up all this overgrowth. Can't even see that side of the house. Pull all these vines down. Shape these bushes. Do all the trimming. But one of the things you wanna make sure you do when you price overgrowth jobs is um, like this is for a property manager. So I give the price to the property manager. The property manager goes to um, the owner. The owner hems and haws about it and thinks about it. And of course, even though whatever I charge them is gonna be cheaper than what the city's gonna charge them. You know, they're gonna think a couple of weeks on it, which means you got a couple of weeks more of growth. So when you price a job, let's, let's say that you price this at, and this is just a made up price. It's not what I'm charging, so don't worry about that. But let's say you price it at 350, okay? I'll show you all this here. I'll show you when we get around. I clean up all this. We already found a dead rat. Um, but let's say you price this at three fifty, okay? But it takes two weeks or three weeks to go through the the chain of communication and get approval. And by the time they approve the job, the grass is a foot taller. So when you price your overgrowth jobs, make sure you say, okay, here's what the price is today. But each week that passes, the price goes up, I don't know, 50 bucks or what, whatever, because it's gonna get taller, it's gonna get thicker. You know, if you cut it in the morning, it's wet. I mean, you can see this stuff is foot and a half tall. Um, so again, make sure when you price your jobs, especially overgrowth jobs, you allow for that time that it's gonna to take to get everything communicated and approved and let them know, hey, look, here's the price if we do it this week. It goes up 50 bucks next week, it goes up 50 bucks a week after that, or whatever your number is, and you're not trying to price gouge them, just explain to them, hey, look, there's gonna be extra growth on the yard if this thing takes two weeks to get approved. So if there's more growth, it's gonna be more expensive, okay? Now again, the 350 I used was just an example. Um, don't come blasting that. That's a $500 job. That's a $1,000 job. In my area, it's 200 bucks. Doesn't matter. It's the principle. Okay. So once we get everything cleaned up, 
we're going to be putting the world famous swamp donkey on it so we'll show you the after i don't have time to record today because we got this and three pallets of sod to do i got a short work week because i am going to the mountains this weekend for four days so hang tight we'll show you what it looks like when we're done all right so while danny was weeding in the backyard he found something what did you find danny <laughs> how's it work you just you know you do a bunch of this yeah like this yeah so supposedly based off that south park episode some pennies are going to come out the end <laughs> for, if I do it enough, for some for some cab it. fare yeah, <laughs> if y'all ain't seen the south park episode with the shake weight check it out all right danny get back to work <laughs> <laughs> all right so let me update you we're making progress it's getting there it's getting there took the swamp donkey over all this mess well most of it you can see the uh the brown part there i did all that with the, the little mower i'm gonna get in there and clean that up we've got to clean back to the fence line here when your helper used to be a painter where his painter whites to clean up. Told him, hey, we're doing a clean up tomorrow. You might want to wear pants. So that's what we got. Ah. There's Danny in a shake weight. <laughs> well, I'll put it in the trunk and keep it. Yeah, you going to keep it? Yeah, I'll use it. Oh, just don't tell me about it. All right, so all this got the vines. Whoops, step in a hole. Got the vines off the house, at least on this side. I'm gonna drop the deck and uh, mow again. Cut it just a little bit shorter. Gotta finish cleaning up that. I do some finished weed eating on it. Got out the chainsaw. Took some vegetation down along with the hedge trimmers. I'm going to get rid of that little guy, I think. But it's getting there. We can see the fence now. So. Like I said, this stuff was in the middle here. And right over here is about a foot and a half tall. So I'm going to run over it again, spread out the clippings, and then I'm going to drop the deck and do one final cut on it. And then we'll be here every two weeks until it's rented or sold or whatever they're doing with it. So, anyway, this one's a pain in the butt, but luckily it had three guys. So, it went pretty quick. And each time we get out here, we'll do a little bit more, get it finished up. So, all right, we got three pallets aside after this, so I'm going to get running. All right, so let's give you an update on this one. Man, this stuff was crazy. Um... We're going to keep working on that. Got that fence line cleared up back there. Shaped them hedges. What the hell? Make sure you switch hands, Danny. Huh? Switch off. Oh, well. Sometimes you got to do both. Let's go see what the back looks like. Check out your painter pants. I thought they'd be a lot worse. Me too. Yeah. They turned out all right. Pristine white, you know, ivory. Now they're just. Let's go around the corner here, real quick. So that whole back corner was just nothing but viney vegetation. And uh, like I said, we got most of it. Um, we'll keep working on it each time we're here. Um, I mean, it ain't pretty, but man, it looks a lot better than it did. Like I said, this stuff in the back was, you know, 10, 12 inches tall or so. Um, so we got it cleaned up. And like I said, we'll be out here every two weeks until it's rented or sold. So we're going to take a quick lunch break and then go do three pallets of sod. Hopefully our sod's here. Oh, I forgot to cut that little bush out. But you can see the back fence. Got all those vines taken down too. So, not bad for a couple hours worth of work. On to the next one, guys. Oh, like I 
Let's the shake weight and warm out. All right, so in case y'all wondering, this is why Danny needs some shake weight. All right, a shake weight. What all did you order? Uh, buffalo chicken sandwich, a little pretzel burger, which I guess is new, fries, and then there's some chicken fries and then fries. I want to eat it all, too. What we got going on? <laughs> I'm out, show you. Oh, you good? Yeah. You going to talk to him? Tell him what's up. When your shoes are soaked, you can't break to use the blower and you clearly didn't dry your shoes last night we're gonna see how it goes in the back of the bed here strung up let's see if it stays i got money that your shoes blow out of your truck i think we're all right we'll find out i think we're all right all right